what's today? What's today? Sneaky Saturday. I hope all you ninjas are having a good weekend. Hope everyone has a happy and safe holiday. Hope you're having a good, hope you had a good week overall, man. I've just been going hard all week, all week. I'm kind of having a little late start today. I had to sleep in a little. You know, Ninja got to get his rest, man. I've been slicing out Chia, you know, all freaking week. Solo! Hey, so guess where I'm at? You want to look? Hmm? Hmm? I bet you do. We at the church, man. We at the church, and I'm going to knock this thing out solo. But listen, let me tell you what happened here real quick, all right? All right, I'm not going to talk here. I'm going to walk out here and show you the grass. I'm not going to talk for a long time. But so the church, we normally start around March. So I text them as I always have for the last mm, five, six years. And I said, hey, getting ready to get on schedule. I just wanted to let you know. She writes me back. This church, they're, they're, it's kind of funny. I'm not like upset, upset, but it's just making my job a little harder. She said, uh, the main person who's over it, which me and him are pretty cool. Uh, he said, let's start in mid April. I said, excuse me. She said, let's, I said, we always start in March. Sometimes maybe middle of March, but not mid April. I said, that's, that's crazy. Anyway, I didn't tell her that I meant to say that <laughs> I didn't tell. I said, okay. She said, yeah, let's start in uh, mid April. And so I'll, when you have customers like this that want to approach you and tell you to change up on you or something, be ready. And if that's the case, make sure you give them a heads up of what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. That double charge, ninjas. I told her, I said, listen, that's fine. We can start in May for all I care. You know what I mean? We can start in May, June, whenever. But I said, if it is overgrown, I'm going to double charge. I didn't say double charge. I meant upcharge. O overgrowth right and I said that's fine you know I'll write it down and um, if that's the case then that's the case didn't hear back from her I was actually I, I was driving by here several even the last several days and I was looking at it I'm like my gosh that thing is tall so she finally messages me this like middle of this week and she says Benin, can you go ahead and get it before the Easter uh, Easter uh, Sunday because you know they're gonna have a thing going on here tomorrow and I was just like, I wanted to say like, you know, because it's not fair. Why are we starting this late? Why, why are, that's, this is the whole reason ninjas, why you want to start earlier, because you want to avoid this. You want to go ahead and not let it get to this. And, you know, I wrote her back. I said, I'll get you in no problem. But she knows, you know, I, they know what's coming. I'm getting ready to upcharge. And um, yeah, I'm not playing neither. Let me let me tell you. Uh, let me show you out right here. Look at this. Check this out. I don't know how well you can see. I'll try to put the camera down closer to the ground to show you. I mean, and it's the whole church is like that. So it's not just like one little spot here. I mean, this thing is freaking tall. Look at that. Over there, it's even taller. I mean, look. See that? You know. And this was not necessary. This was totally avoidable. <sighs> anyway. Set you ninjas up. I'm probably not going to get any footage here, ninjas. I've got so much uh, more to do the rest of this, the rest of this day. Let me look at the back real quick. I'll try to get some footage here and there, but I'm telling you, it's going to be tough. I've got, I've got to plant some flowers today. I got a shrub job and I have several more mows after this one, but I got to get this one knocked out. The back is the same way. I mean, look. So when customers do this to you, um, you know, they're, they've been a good account. You know, they've been, I've been really uh, 
happy with them, you know, payment wise, and we just had a good relationship. But, you know, just because you have a good relationship with someone and they let it get to this, you keep keep your time and your equipment and all that stuff into account. And uh, you know, April could have been a, just a normal month, but now it's gonna be like two Aprils. We'll see ya. Well, she's a done, ninjas. I tell you, she's a done. <laughs> Not too bad for a little single solo ninja. Slicing and dicing out here. Took me three hours. And you saw how overgrown was when we got here. And yes, I had to double cut everything. And yes, I had to double charge everything or up charge. I keep saying double charge. Open the window here. She's looking good, she looking good. Not too shabby, I tell you. Got even a few little striplies in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not bad. Three hours. It's not too bad. Now I gotta go plant, I don't know, 50, 100, 150, I don't know, plants. And then I gotta go keep mowing a couple more yards. I got a shrub job I gotta get to today. I've got a lot. Gotta do what you gotta do, but you know, this brings me to something. See, we've been talking about mindset in the last couple of videos. And it really is all in here, I swear to you. It's just one of those you have to, it's like a switch, you just have to turn it on and tell yourself, I gotta get this done. And you just, it's like you kick in overdrive, man. I'm actually not even tired. And that, a lot of that has to do because it's not like 100 degrees out here. It's like 65, 70, something like that. But it was really nice. And this is the first cut, so I did a little extra and it was a lot harder, not to, not just because it was overgrown, but you know, we talked about this as well in previous videos. Every time you do a first cut, you wanna do a little extra because not that you, you know, you don't wanna do anything else later. It's just, you kind of prep yourself and set yourself up so you don't have to do it, do all those little extra things all the time from here on. It makes it easier. So yeah. So here we are, gotta plant all of those. They lined them up. They already put them where they want them. Just gotta go ahead and plant them. And I think there's a couple over here on this side. And there's a couple over there in that corner. Hey, I wanna just take a minute to say, and I don't, I don't do this a lot. I don't, um, probably not enough, okay? But stay hungry, ninjas. Stay motivated. But stay humble. And um, think about where you have been and where you are and where you want to be and the opportunities that are in front of you every day to make those dreams a reality or one step one step closer to them you know I've said this before but like I said probably not enough for sure I want to just thank God man thank God for my health thank God for you know providing me all this work that gives me the life that I want to live and provide for my family so just remember that, you know, and, and be thankful. It's just, there's a lot of us who, who, who are really struggling right now, man. I, I mean, seriously. Uh, with COVID and everything going on, that doesn't help. But uh, in general speaking, you know, people, there are a lot of people hurting out there. And, you know, when, when you get jobs back to back and, 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 and it's just constantly your phone blowing up and constantly people are calling you and wanting your service you know what the whole point in life is ninjas i think the whole point in life is we want to be 
We want to be used. We want to be needed. And so when you have people calling you, needing you, wanting you, wanting to use your services, it's a blessing, man. And I know sometimes we get carried away in all these other things and, you know, materialistical stuff, but, and it's all, it's all part of the game. It's, it's cool, man. It's all part of the game. You know, it's nice to, to admire things. It's nice to be able to upgrade on things and have nice shiny things. And it, it also is just this sign of your hard work, man. You have something to show for. What's the point of working hard if you don't have nothing to show for, man? And you don't have to do it for anybody else to show it off, just for yourself, your own pleasure, your own good feeling that, hey man, I've earned that. You know, I've worked my butt off, I got this. So just, I just wanna personally thank God. Okay, thank God because he really provides all of us and he gives all of us a chance and an opportunity, but we, have a choice you know we can decide what we want to do with our life we can decide every day whether we want to take advantage of the things that are put in front of us or if we want to just let them go to waste anyway i think back where i was and how hard i struggled a lot of you ninjas i know you know who've just joined me recently and even let's say within the last year or two i have gone through heck man um you know, and I don't mind sharing it. It's just not all in one video because it's so long. But I, I have I have had quite the uh, quite the journey in life, but also just as I started my business and thinking back on stuff, what I've gone through and what I've done and what I've experienced and witnessed and and it's it's a battle. You know, the the road to success is not just a straight shot like this, man. We all have seen these little memes and things you know you come across occasionally it's not just like this it's it's like this 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 sometimes this this, this. i mean you know and it's like a and you're doing this the whole time and every time you go like this it's a learning experience and then you'll straighten out a little bit and then you'll just skyrocket once you figure out your system man anyway i just wanted to share that with you i'm very thankful um stay hungry Stay motivated. Whatever you got to do to stay motivated, whether it's these videos from different people, whether it's uh, listening to somebody talk, whether it's motivation, motivational speakers, um, maybe it's certain type of music, but stay humble. And believe me, I have th these are the things that I have learned. This is not something that I've known all along and I'm just telling you this is what I this is stuff that I have been learning. So I'm sharing things with you that I learn. I'm sharing things with you that I experience. And the older I'm getting, the more mature I'm getting and and the more, you know, the wiser I'm getting. Uh, it's it it, it it really the picture is getting brighter. That's all I'm saying. There you have it, ninjas. It's a wrap. Got those over there. All those. And then three of the little bigger ones right over here. Off to the next one. Just finished with this small little granny yard. I gotta do all these shrubs in the front and the side of the house. Thank goodness I have an absolutely understanding customer. He's so cool. He's like, man, don't worry about it, Nick. You can just come back next week, whenever. Um, because I originally told him I'll probably knock it out when I come to mow, but I'm running a little behind. It's six o'clock and I still got to get at least one or two. So uh, this saved me a lot of time because if I tackled this, I don't think I'd be able to get to anything else. It's kind of a crazy rush, Ninjas, because everybody's wanting in to get in that last second. Hold on. Get in that last second. Um, before the Easter. So everybody wants to get their yard tip top, you know, and all that. And phone's blowing up. I just had another one that called me. And said, can you take on my yard? It was the one that last year, her guy stopped showing up early in the fall. He basically called it quits, if some of you ninjas will remember. And we went ahead and did it once or twice and then that was it. And I didn't think I'd hear from her because I haven't heard from her until now, but she just got 
in touch with me and said, uh, can you go ahead and put me on schedule? So I gotta make sure she's a weekly and get her uh, scheduled in. The yards are just coming out of, I mean, I, and it's so funny ninjas, you know, a few years ago, I was like trying to get as many customers as I could and you know, just trying to grow this business and and now I have a different problem. Now I have a problem where they're just, there's more work coming my way than I can really handle or take on. And um, it's a good problem to have. Trust me, I'm not complaining by all means. I'm very grateful and thankful for all the work that comes my way, but you gotta be careful when you're in a situation like this. You know, you don't wanna take on too many and then uh, start having a bad reputation. There's a lot of stuff in this yard, man. They got a lot of kids uh, and it's just, and I'm not talking about just like trampoline and, you know, um, playhouse or anything like that. I'm talking about like papers and little wrappers everywhere. I mean, you can just, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's everywhere. I picked up as many as I could and while I was mowing, but you can't get everything and I, you don't see everything and when you're mowing now I see more when I was weed eating but what do you do so I'll pick up a little bit more as much as I can but we're done here hope you enjoyed remember overgrown stuff customers want to hold off and tell you to wait and then you know even if they call you before they tell you that you know hey it's time we I don't think we need to wait as long as I originally thought if it's overgrown, don't be afraid to overcharge for the overgrowth. It's very important that your customer understands 
that it's going to cost them more if they wait. Otherwise, you'll just have people left and right telling you that, you know, they'll wait the last second when it gets super tall and then they'll expect you to do it for the same price. So just, uh, that would be the point of this video. Overgrowth, they want to tell you, you know, let's start later when you've been starting at a certain time of the year for 10 years or six years, whatever. And all of a sudden they want to change it. They're just trying to save some money, that's all. And if that's what they choose, you know, they'll, they'll just have to learn the hard way, I guess. I don't know. But definitely don't cut overgrown grass for the same price that you would cut once it's maintained, whether it's a weekly or a bi-weekly. Ninjas, it's getting dark. I got to blow off. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. Happy uh, Easter and holidays and this weekend. I hope everyone stays safe and enjoy time with your family and get ready to slice some dice next week saving green take care peace saving